welcome to the show jidda sanu pata hai ajj assi immigration di gallan nahi kar riyan today assi koi community di issue bare gall kari riya ya idda ne kisi person na interview kari da jo ke saadi knowledge vada sake thwadi knowledge vada sake and today is no different um ajj kal de youngster thonu pata hai ke sports sal jada motivated hai gaya chahe oh football hove chahe oh hockey hove chahe tennis hove ya tennis ho ke hate on the weekend ਤੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦੇਖ ਰਿਹਾ ਚਾਹੇ ਰਗਬੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਤਾਂ ਚਲੋ ਸਾਡਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੀ ਆ ਏਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੌਕ ਪਰ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅਨਦਰ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨਕਰੀਸਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਪਪੂਲੈਰਿਟੀ ਅਮੰਗਸਟ ਏਜੀਅਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੋਣੇ ਸਿੱਖਣੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡਰਦੇ ਹੋਗੇ ਜਾਂ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਹੋਗੇ ਕਿ ਆਮ ਇਹ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਸਾਡੇ ਏਜੀਅਨ ਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਬਾਕਸਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਯੰਗਸਟਰਸ ਆਰ ਇਨਟੂ boxing and a lot of punjabi youngsters are into boxing be kickboxing or muay thai or just um, amateur boxing even professional boxing aaj bhi sade naal interview kar liya we have a professional boxer a uh, young punjabi lad by the name of indi sanga who okay, he's only 19 and he's come with us on the show today indi hello sasrigan how are you doing right yeah good thanks mm-hmm. indi first of all tell us how old are you are i'm 19 right and how long have you been boxing for i've been boxing at the age of 15 16 Yeah. Right. Okay, so how did you get into boxing? I got into boxing by just um I watched a, f- a fight back in the day. Which one was it? Do you remember? Floyd Mayweather against Ricky Atten. Okay. I watched that and I watched um Floyd Mayweather KO Ricky Atten and I thought, you know what, this inspires me so much and I just you know what I mean, I've just fell in love with boxing since then, but I didn't do it that when I was young, like oh. at the age of 8, but yeah. as soon as I got um old enough, I took myself to the gym. So, I used to walk like 2 miles a day. Right. just to go training. Do you have to go to a normal gym or a special boxing gym? Well, it's at the start I was I was living in Wolverhampton. Okay. And um I just um I started at the amateur boxing club Wolverhampton amateur boxing club. Okay. And uh, I gradually went a bit um, got better and better. And um I've then after that I just thought because my mum used mum was always living in Derby. Yeah. And I thought I must well move my mum and just start boxing at a professional boxing club, amateur professional. So um, I've always had because it's a very good gym one nation. How long did you train for? I trained for what until I got my first amateur fight. No, I'm just yeah, un- until you thought about right, I'm ready for a fight. Um, about 6 months, 6 right. seven months. And what did your training consist of? Uh, just a, a running. A lot of running? A lot of running. How many running? How much running a day? When I was when I first started, I used to do like I used to challenge myself. I used to about 8 miles. A to meal a day. That's it. Yeah, I used to challenge myself so much. And But every day. Every day. Yeah. Okay, so what did you eat? Then? Uh, I ate roti and that, to be honest. When I was <laughs> amateur, I, was amateur. I, didn't have a, I didn't have a big big diet plan, but um, as soon as I got professional, that's when everything just changed. All right. did, did at first anybody advise you, or did you find some advice in the community, or did you think, actually, nobody in our community really has a clue about this? A lot of people advised me, my cousins. Because okay. I, I always used to fight back in, like, when I was, I've always been, kind of, had that fighting background, but my cousins have always been like, you know what, instead of fighting on the streets and doing that this at school and that and just when you do boxing like you 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 could do you could actually make something out of it right. and it's going pretty good for me at the moment okay when your childhood would you mention you did a lot of fighting and all that yeah was you more key towards studying or were you disruptive oh, i was a bit disruptive right. i was trying to a bit it's a bit of both both a bit of both both yeah. do you look back on that and think yeah, i was a bit stupid in them days or a bit naive yeah i do look back on that and think right. you know what i mean i do miss school and that but It's what it's what's made me today to be honest. It's what's made me better and better and like so as soon as I did boxing that's it my whole my whole lifestyle changed. How did it change? You it make, just, you say your lifestyle changed. I mean what what sort of things changed that made better or for worse? My attitude, I got more disciplined in boxing. Like when I go on the street people you get you'll get like you know people that wind you up yeah. obviously and you'll get people that want to fight you and oh he's a boxer come on I want to fight him. And But, just it, people do that to me all the time I just think I just walk away from it straight away. Is that because you've learned to control your temper? I've learned to control and I learned it's a, if I if I lose my boxing license that's it, I'm like you know what I mean. Right. So who taught you that control? Who taught you the discipline? Was it something you learned in the gym or did you have a trainer who taught you that or was it your parents who taught you that? It's all free really. It's just all, all a bit of both. Um in the gym I just thought you know I'm good at fighting in the ring let's not let's not let's not wreck this. You know what I mean? Let's not go out and start fighting. And um my trainer is telling me do you know what I mean never don't start fighting on the streets and stuff like that you got something here and my mom everybody they just tell me like just never get into any fights anymore since the boxing they didn't even really tell me since I got into boxing you just sort of so it just changed it changed your life yeah. did you think right 
that all the ingression that you had and you know all the disruption was that you had you thought you could channel it into in the ring yeah that's it yeah i thought you know let's do something with my life you know what i mean let's actually let's actually you know become a world i want this the, the goal is to become a world champion to make history so was it a good release for your anger you think going yeah to the it gym is and, yeah yeah because yeah. i never knew like i always knew i wanted to do boxing but i wasn't too sure if i really wanted to do it you know because my first amateur fight you know what i mean i had my first amateur fight and, I, and um anyway i lost my first amateur fight right and i was and I thought, that must have been really disappointing yeah and right? i thought you know what? But do you know why? Because I didn't really train the hardest. Right. But when my next amateur fight, I won it. And then the next amateur fight, I won. I kept on winning. But um, that's because I just changed. I changed my whole like training routine. I thought, you know what? I need to be more serious. And as soon as be serious, I'd say I've got better and better every day. When we look at boxing, yeah, we are primarily we look at people punching each other in the face. Yeah, of course, yeah. Right. So or don't you get, Danny, like, didn't you first think, yeah, if someone hits me hard, they're gonna knock me out, or I could get brain damage, yeah. you know, because it's just it, is, or it yeah. could mess my face up, you know. Yeah. You see people with like they've got broken noses course, and yeah. their ears are all like, out here and their teeth. Are, didn't yeah. you at that point think, you know what, if I get seriously hit, I it did, could do a lot of damage. When I first sparred, I did get hit quite bad. And how did that feel? I felt it felt horrible. I felt got put right in the nose and just started. Crying like you start crying, yeah, madly. It hits but obviously, you. I just I just thought I didn't I didn't back out of it. I just you just you just you, go with, you just carried on, man. That's it. And what about when you told your parents that you know I want to start boxing? How did they react? Ooh, my mom, my mom didn't mind it. To be fair, she, didn't mind it. she, she thought it was just a hobby, like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like obviously, but mums probably, usually mind it. Most. Of course, yeah. yeah, of course. But my bimbi, she was the worst. Right. She didn't let me. She didn't. She didn't let me go do boxing. She was used to argue with me. No, you're not going boxing today. I'm like, I had to sneak out. I had to sneak out and go training. <laughs> so you had to go, Jordy, Jordy. Yeah, Jordy, Jordy. So um, yeah. Right. So, so your BB weren't happy about it, no, but no. your mum was quite supportive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And did, when you told them, right, you know what, I want to start. I want to actually have a fight, yeah. and it's not just a hobby. Then how was it? Oh, it was. It it was I've, more as I remember. Right. It was my BB was. She was doing. Bart. <laughs> she was doing Bart. Right, the whole fight. Right, the whole fight, yeah. But she always was like, everyone in my fight, she's always there. Right. Mum's always there, always be supportive. So mainly two people in my life that's always been supportive. So after your first fight, was that, did you maybe be your mum said, right, Bart, okay, that's yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah. enough, and no more fight. Nah, no, no, that's it, I'm back, I'm coming back for did, it. Man. Did you get hurt quite a bit in your first fight? Hurt? No, I'm not really, I just, like, I got, yeah, I did actually get hurt quite a bit. Yeah. But it's just, it was all full of stamina, really. I won the first round. Yeah. And then after that, I was blue. Ran out of steam. Yeah. Right. So, what sort of things now do you have to prepare for? I mean, what have you learned for your amateur fights? For my amateur fights, I've learned experience. Right. How to pace myself, how to um, train hard in training, how to actually, like, you know what I mean? How to actually box, how to actual box. So, how old were you when you had your first amateur fight? 17. Right. Okay. Yeah, 17. So, you were 17. Right? Yeah. And did you fight a lot of people who were older than you? Or um, younger than you? Around yeah. the same age? As soon as, I, as soon as I turned 18, yeah. that's when you fought people 18 plus. Right, okay. So in the championship, when I was in the championships, I fought like people that are like 25, you know what I mean, a lot older than me. And I just always beat them. But they were amateurs as well? Yeah, amateurs, yeah. Right, so what's the difference between amateur and professional? Or did Am you focus? Professional, you get paid. Okay. But amateurs, like, you don't see the, the quality in professional. Like, you mean, you don't see the quality in amateurs, but in professional. Your professionals are like, you know what I mean? You can tell yeah, yeah. if they're professional, you know what I mean? Do you still have, do you have a lot more protection when you're amateur? Like a lot, in the Olympics, oh, yeah. you see people with of the course, head yeah, gear. you had head guards, yeah. But when you turn 18, that's when you, the head guards come off. So Even if you're amateur? Yeah. That, that, when I was amateur, my last amateur fight when I was amateur was October, and I got the taste of professional. I got the taste of it, because when the head guards come off, it's like, you know, it's, it's a bit more professional, you know what I mean? Um, and that, that got the taste for it. I and mean, then I wanted, to, uh, since I started boxing, I knew I, was, I wanted to become professional. How many fights did you have as an amateur? I had 10. And what was your record there? Um, one, eight, lost two. Right, okay. But them, them two, was, it was robberies. Man. Controversial. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so have you ever been knocked out? Never. Never have you been, been knocked, knocked on the floor? Never been knocked down. Never been knocked down never the floor? Knocked down. I, hope, I, I hope not to either. Right. <laughs> so, after 10 fights, do you think that's enough for you to go into professional it's because or, not? or you think because a lot of people do they do 20 25 fights because i had a lot of fights i used to i always used to spot when i was amateur I always i've always sparred with top class opponent like um, sparring partners and that's because i'm from the gym i'm from it's a pro amateur professional gym mm -hmm. and it's top class you know my trainer clifton mitchell is very known in derby yeah, derby, clifton, yeah. yeah i've met him a few times um, yeah, I've got the right team behind me. So um, since I've been amateur, since I started, came to the gym, I had the right team behind me, you know what I mean? I used to train twice a day, even when I was amateur. 
When you look at professional boxers and you look at Punjabis, there's not a lot. No, no, from the UK, no, British enough, agents, yeah. are there? Whereas there's quite a few Pakistani based boxers. Uh, yeah, of course. But not, I mean, Punjabi boxers, I hardly know any. No, that's what, that's what motivates me. Mm -hmm. And yes. so in Derby, which Derby's got quite a big Punjabi community. Of course, yeah. There's yeah. quite a few thousand there. So why, I mean, why has Derby, or even like in the Punjabis as a whole, produced, not produced that many boxers? Why do you think that is? I mean, did you get a lot of other parents who were saying, yeah, to your parents, well, why? Are you letting your son do this? Mm. Or do you get a lot of other kids saying, oh, you must be mad, you should have stayed at school? Mm. Or did you get people saying, actually, no, it's well done, you know, I might be thinking it's about doing all this. all three, really, just yeah. a mixture of all. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's, but it's just, you just, when people say, oh, um, you become a boxer, hmm. oh, you're doing good, I'm like, yeah, thank you. And people say, oh, why are you doing boxing? Why are you doing this? I'm yeah. like, why are you doing it for a hobby for and stuff? I'm not, it's not a hobby, it's a lifestyle, you know, right. since I've came into it, so, um, yeah. So. What sort of support do you get now at your at your fights? Do you get a lot of the okay. community turning up? Yeah, I've got I've got I get quite a few in the community. It's, it's increasing, increasing every of my fights. So right. um, that's that's what I want. So and a lot of kids must be coming up to you and saying, well, "Actually, we want to go into boxing." As yeah, well. I've got a lot. Right. Yeah, so yeah. what do you say to them? I just they come to the gym. I can you know what I mean. Yeah, but tell me where the gym is. Come to the gym. What time? You know what I mean. I, that's what I like. I like to motivate young kids. I like to be you know I mean a role model for them. Yeah. For them to get into boxing, to get to actually do what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Do you think that there's a difference in genetics? I mean, do you think that, say, um, the Afro-Caribbean guys or the black guys are genetically more stronger, and that's mm -hmm. why they make better boxers, mm -hmm. or the white guys are quicker, or the Mexicans have more, got more yeah, stamina? Yeah, of course, yeah. do, you th do you think that? Do you think Asians have got what it takes? Um, yeah, I think they go, of course, you got what it takes. It all matters in training. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how hard you train is what you're going to... It's what's going to come out in there. So whatever you put in training, it's going to come out in your fight. So if you train hard in training, you're going to win. So, um, so how comes there's so few Asian champions in? I like, 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 I mean, we think of, when you think about Asian boxers, you think about Amir Khan, yeah. maybe Prince Nassim Hamed. Yeah, yeah. But after that, I Not mean, in, who yeah. do you think of? No one, really. No one, no. right. Okay, so how, how comes in that? And yeah, if, if I was to think of, like, say, a black boxers, I could name all the legends would be pretty much black, all the white ones. Yeah. So, so why do you think that is? Do you think there's a... There's, there's no, it's, it's, shift, it's, just, just think we haven't got what it takes. It's, I think it's due to the parenting. You think so? Because um, a lot of parents they don't they don't want their kids to get hurt. I mean they want to be mommy's boys and <laughs> you know, they don't want to get their face wrecked and that. But um, hopefully I don't get my face wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, just 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 parenting really. I think I think it's that and um, it's it's what lacks in their motivation as well. You need to get the right motivation. When would you think about quitting? Or stopping? Oh. I, mean, no, so, I mean, what would it take for you to say, right, you know, oh. enough's enough and... I want to become at least world champion in two weight classes at least before I quit. Right. Before I quit, man. Do you reckon that's a legit mate? That's legit. That's what other one. fighters are there in your weight division? Um, like champions? Lee Selby. Yeah. Lee Selby, Lemchenko. Yeah. There's a lot of fighters. Yeah. A lot of few fighters, but I know I could take them out. How do you get people to... How do you get, like, a promoter and how do you get an agent... And how does the whole boxing game work? I mean, how does that, what are you looking at how it works from your end? Um, well, Do you I have, have a manager? I have a manager, yeah. Okay. Um, my trainer's my manager. Okay. He's my trainer. He's been more of a dad to me, to be honest, since okay. I've started. And, um, so you must see him every day, right? Yeah, every day. That's so you train every day? Train every day, morning, afternoon. Seven days a week? You train, yeah. what, two times a day? Two times a day. And yeah. I'll go for, I'll, maybe I'll go for a run after. If right, so depends on my mood. How many hours do you train in the morning? For, um, two hours. And what do you do? I do um, it's boxing based. Yeah. So um, or ring based. Sparring. You know, sparring. Um, pads. Jab pads. pads yeah. um, bags. Yeah. Um, running. Ball. Sometimes yeah. running. Sp yeah. Sprints. Them are the killers. Okay. <laughs> sprints. Um, yeah. That's it. Really. Okay. Well, boxing based. Like you know what I mean. Like. And what about in the afternoon? Same stuff. In the afternoon, same stuff. Yeah. Um, more more weights. So you do do weights. I do do circuits. <laughs> circuits. Okay. So um, it, it, more in the morning, it's more about technique. Okay. And then when it comes to um, afternoon, that's when it comes. That's when the cardio, more cardio. So yeah. Do you have to be quite disciplined? Does you have to do what your trainer tells you? Of course, yeah. Because right. my trainer, tra uh, he, he has to shout at you to get to get it in your head. Right. So it I'm just used to it. Right. Okay. But, um, and, is, and is there ever a time when you think you're you're in conflict with your trainer or not? Nah, well, never, never, nah. So it's, it's pretty much like... Because whatever, whatever he says, I just know that it's, it, he wouldn't be saying it for no reason. So right. just do what... Uh, 
obviously you do get a bit moody like obviously I do get a bit moody sometimes and I thought you know what I look back and I think no he's done it he's, he's, he's been truthful so, is this something you could have done with studying as well yeah yeah of course I could have been studying I could have been doing sports I was always been good at sports no. I, I, was, I did college for about two months and I just didn't really didn't really like it but I knew if I could stick to it I would get I would become a teacher or something but this is the life I chose so right okay and do you ever think back saying you know what Maybe I should have studied, or because boxers tend to have a pretty short life. You yeah. have to say you're 30, 35, maybe 40 if you're really yeah. good, you know? And do you ever thought, right, what am I going to do afterwards? Or maybe I'm going to need a, another to get another job? Or do you think that you can make a career out of this? I'm, yeah, I'm definitely making a career out of this. Because yeah. I, don't, I, don't I don't look back and think, oh, I should have studied. No, never. And at the moment, this must be like, Costing you right without really getting a good earning, or, or do you get sponsorships, or do you get? Yeah, I've got sponsorships. I've got uh, about five sponsors: the National Seat Museum, DNA, um, Roadshow, um, the Produce for All. That's my um, cousins. Okay. So they're doing very good for me. Um, um, Haveli Hotel, my new sponsors. Okay. And um, yeah. And what other support have you had from the community? Do you have you had a lot of media interviews? Do you get a lot of uh, press coverage, and do they turn up to your events? I get a lot. Yeah, I get um, one of my um, good friends, Ajit. He, he from Birmingham. He's followed me since I've started um, my professional career, and he's done a lot for me. He's promoted my page and stuff like that. So it's okay. I'm getting a lot of good feedback from the community, man. All right. So yeah, I like that. Right, who? Do you look up to boxing wise? I look up to um, my idols of Floyd Mayweather and yeah. Prince Nassim. That's my idols. Right. Yeah. And so, do you hope to emulate them in some sort of way? Of course. Yeah. I I, I tend to throw the shots they do right. in the ring. So. And um, do you spend a lot of time studying, watching videos and stuff course, like this? I've Is that part of your training? Yeah. I've, I watch him in my spare time. As soon as I've um, done my training, I watch Prince Nassim. Floyd Mayweather, all their fights. I watch all their fights. But like, I like. I don't just watch it. I have. You know what I mean? I, I like. Um, Seeing what they can do, and you know what I mean, it's like um, mim like doing the shots they do in training, like practice on them. The other kids in your gym, did they have similar backgrounds? Did they have like um, were they disruptive and were they, were they on the streets? And you know, has it does it help take a lot of kids off the street? It it does help take a lot of kids off the street. Yeah, it does because people if they if they're just they just want to um, have a spar in the ring. Yeah. They can just take their anger out and a spar in the ring. Right. And they could, get, they could actually make a career out of it as well. So, um, and people that just want to actually do boxing or fitness, like get a better body and, you know what I mean, obviously yeah. get, be a bit more healthy. Yeah. That, that's what they'll do. They'll just come to the gym. So. What makes you think that you can go all the way? I mean, you've got confidence, but what makes you think that you're that good? I mean, have you had people come up to you and say, you know what, you've got a lot of promise? Uh, have you had I've had it since, people say I've had it since I've been amateur really. Yeah. Since I'm amateur fight. So like that's that's when I was no nowhere near good as how I am now. Right. And they was like, you know what, you're gonna go far. And I'm right. like, thank you, like obviously I like that. But um I know that if I keep training and keep on having the life I have, like, you know what I mean, no party, and I don't go out, nothing like that. So tell what like normal teenagers, right? So you don't go out party? I don't go out party and nothing right. like that. So you don't get drunk or anything mm. like that? No, I haven't drunk since like a year and a half ago. That right. was when I was a kid. Right. Well, I'm still a kid now. But so a lot of kids smoke and stuff like that? None of that? Uh, no, no, I don't smoke. No you keep, you like keep healthy? I keep healthy, man. Keep Stay healthy. indoors? That's it. If, if, if anything, I eat junk food. That's, <laughs> that's, right. just, that's just the worst I do. Right. <laughs> but right. I stay... I do, obviously, I've got a car and that. I go out, eat food and, you know what I mean, stuff like that. But I don't get into no, no trouble. No trouble at all. I tend to stay away from all that. Stay at home. Right. Well, Indy, we're going to have a chat with you later, but we're going to have a chat with your mum next. Oh, okay. And uh, we're going to go for a break. And Manjianu, Gasadi Horisi Sports, Sware, Bachiaware, Indy, Sangha Joke, Boxer, Only Salde, Professional Boxer, Jere, Podcast, Asian Sade Bache, Professional Boxing, which is a very good sport, which is a very good sport, which is a very good sport. But it's not just a very good sport, it's 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 a very good sport. Now we've got Indy's mum and Kalwinda, so Kalwinda, Sashi Kalwinda. Sashi Kalwinda, thank you for inviting us. No to the show. problem at all. Um, but let's see another song, right? As a mum, Jodo A Boxing Kada, Twade Del Teki Beat Dia, what do you feel? I'm very proud of him. Are you proud? I'm very proud of him. Are you not scared? Dun, dun, no. Don't you think, like, oh my god, it is hot lag, do we? But look at that lag, the Honda Siga. Yeah. But like, since he's gone uh, to the professional, yeah. I know 
that when he I've seen the way he trains yeah. did that every day yeah. and that's all he does right. train so I know when he gets into that ring his safety will always be first what was Indy like as a kid Indy was a very um, not naughty very did that Active, healthy, 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 <laughs> healthy. healthy. <laughs> Not in the Asian meaning of the word healthy, mm -hmm. but like healthy, yeah. healthy, healthy Definitely. kid. Okay. Yeah. Um, my, my, um, like his, his nan gave brought him up. Okay. He's like nanny and mummy. Mummy. Yeah. it. Um, not not judge it, like uh, mummy and bought him a singer and yeah. like my nephews and Tea, stuff yeah. like that. So, um, I think they got all that. Okay. The healthiness. So uh, they got all the healthiness and they passed it on to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So when he said, right, mum. Man, boxing gun here. What did you think? Um, at first, I thought he was just a hobby. He'll, right. he'll grow out of it. You thought, Mother Motta, that's it. Shaming yeah. the car, you go. Well, not even shaming, I thought three minutes. <laughs> right, okay. Then what started happening? Um, then he came back to Derby at the age of 16. Huh. Um, did a put the college by us? He got the day in Anakin and Dudley College. Huh. And Dog come in there, did a college sick up. All I'm Man and Nisi, yeah, the man so um, when he came back to Derby at the age of 16, um, I can remember very clearly it was on a Sunday. Right. On the Monday, he went to the gym himself, okay. Clifton Mitchell. Okay. So where I took him, and since then, he's never looked back. Right, okay. And what sort of checks did you make sure to make sure he wasn't going to get hurt? I mean... I go there. Right. Do we know that? <laughs> yeah, I go there to watch him. Really? Yeah, he's very proud. To, I just Not to go to just to watch Indy, but to watch all the boxes. Right. Because he makes me proud to see what they're doing. Right. And how has his life changed? I mean, how has he changed from an LT kid to what he is now? Is he still LT? No, no, he's not LT. I mean, he'll come in, into my room or he'll sometimes like try and spar with me and I'll say, just go away, you yeah. know, <laughs> and stuff like well, that. I'll, you might not have been knocked out, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, he's, Indy's just like Indy. You know what I mean, he knows what he wants to do. Right. And the way I look at it, Jamani is support Gandhi. How can I ex expect anybody to support him? Yeah. And I think the, the Saudi community, batch, like we haven't got that many sportsmen, uh, like young kids yeah. following sports. Yeah. And I think, you know, like with parents, the sport them to the age uh, where they left school. Yeah. And then after school, they expect them to either go to college yeah. or find a job. Yeah. And if I'm not going to um, make his dream come true, yeah. who else will? Yeah. I mean, after you said he started as a hobby, you thought, but then when he told you, look, my mom, I'm pretty serious about this, then did you realise, all right, I'm going to have to sit down and just, you know, take this seriously? I mean, how did you tell your parents, <laughs> uh, you know, that, yeah, Dakar Najon, I'm sure they must have thought, right, then Patani had to bring the kids up and stuff like that. No, no, my Bibi was like quite upset. You know, she said to me, Jacko, you know, she goes up, you know, a collagene and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. But then when um, he had his first um, amateur fight at Pride Park, yeah. um, my Bibi came and like, um, you know, like all my family from Wolverhampton came. Yeah. And we knew we can't stop him. Okay. And they knew um, that I, he had all my support. So obviously they start supporting and start taking the sport serious. Right. What about your friends? I mean, did they say to you, well, what's going wrong? Or why are you my friends support him all the way. Seriously. Really? That's his main supporters. Yeah. He, he's got a lot of support from my friends. Right. Um, you know, that's not an issue. Don't you worry that there is a risk, though? I mean, there is a no. miracle. You don't worry about that. No, because I know his manager, Clifton Mitchell, yeah. will not put him in the ring. His safety will always come first. Right, OK. And I can guarantee you that. Right, OK. So when he lost fights, and you must have been there, I mean, how, did, how did that feel for you? As horrible. A mum. Yeah. Horrible. He got robbed. <laughs> Time to judges. <laughs> he got robbed. But obviously, did you? I was really upset. Yeah. And Indy was really upset, but I never used to show to Indy I was upset. Right. Um, because I've got to support him. Right. So how do you help him in his daily routine? Do you make his meals and stuff like this? I make or? his meals. I support him financially. Right. Um. I, you know, like I, I, I take him to the gym. I watch him at the gym. Yeah. I help helped out with the sponsors as well, yeah. which we've got very good sponsors. Okay. Um. So like. I help him by selling tickets, um, whatever he needs. We're not like mother and son. He's my best friend as well. Right, okay. We've got a very good relationship. And has it cost you a lot of money? A lot. Right. And a lot. But has that bothered you? Or has no. It, or do you think, you know what, I could have put that towards his education or something no. like this? Or do you think Bec that you know, actually it's all worth it? It's, did that my heart nearly support me for me to pay for a budget? It didn't look like I should know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I've... There's I'm no gonna, use to him afterwards, yeah. There's no use to him. I'm going to make him follow his dream, and I know he's going to follow his dream. Right, okay. So, 
Now, there's not a lot of Asian people in boxing. I mean, no. they've slowly honed at the, um, like, there's a few gyms now opening in Goddoras and Mandas. And um, there's a lot of people, I know, Lions MMA, for, you know, they do a lot of good stuff. And um, a lot of gyms around there, you know, gyms in East London and in the Midlands and even in Southall here, where they're doing well. And a lot of kids want to do that. But how would a kid approach his parents to say, right, I want to do this? I mean, uh, uh, I think it's a, it's a bit tricky. It's I mean, very hard, very, very hard. But it's a mentality of the parents as well, yeah. that they need to support their kids. Right. Could, say, you or your brothers, say, 20, 30 years ago, could you have said it to your parents and got away with it, you think? No way. So what's changed now? It's a generation as well. What a generation. Yeah, but <laughs> if, if me and you sit here and start saying it's a generation, we sound like as if we're 80, right? <laughs> but, it's, you know, but it's, I mean, is, is it? I mean, is that... Is that what you can solely put it down to? Is that because they've got more freedom now and we didn't have? Or do you think that maybe we thought, you know, we don't want to put our parents through this? Um, I don't know. It's a difficult one. But like, like I say, with my, my both my children, I'm going to support them, whatever they do. Right. What does your other child? He's on 11, but he's, he's a brain box. And does he want to be a, a boxer? No. Right. So he said he's seen enough of that. He's seen enough of that. <laughs> right, OK. And like you said, you haven't got any worries about Indy getting hurt and you're there to support him. But obviously, in the long run, you must have seen some boxing fights or videos where things do go wrong. And then, is, are you trying to say that's not really in the back of the head? I mean, should a pair no, of that's, that's it, that is in my, in my mind. But when you go to a proper professional boxing match or even an amateur, but it's not. It's not really that much of a threat. No, because you got it's a controlled fight. You've got judges there. You know, like you got like the ambulance crew there. You've got like your managers there. Your trainers there. there. Doctors there. Everything. Right. So they make sure it doesn't really go to that's, that stage. Yes, that's true, yeah. Right, OK. So how do you encourage Indy? So what sort of encouragement do you give him? I encourage him all the time, like, um, not to worry about, like, um, you know, like, financial side, not to worry about, like, his ticket side. You know, just do what you have to do. Right. And all the hours that he puts in away from home, does that, um, does that worry you? Or are you happy now that he's in the gym, he's safe, it's better than him, say, going out partying? And mm. I suppose you've got different worries to what a normal parent of a teenager would? See, I'll go to work like seven o'clock in the morning yeah. and then when I finish at um, half past three, I'll be at the gym four o'clock watching him right, and supporting okay. him. So you know where he is? Exactly, I yeah. suppose. And I know if he wasn't at the gym, his manager will be ringing me to ask where Indigit is. So it's like you get a lot of support from his manager? Oh God, his manager's been like Indy's dad, to be honest with you. They've got such a tight relationship. Right. Okay, so in, in one way, you pretty much know that he's safe and whatever he's doing, he's working towards his boxing as opposed to... That's it, yeah. And has it helped, control, like Indy said, it helped control his aggression a little bit and made him disciplined. Have you noticed that difference? A lot of difference in the past two years. And would you say that's made your life easier or harder? He's not like he had that problem, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when he came back to me at the age of 16... Yeah. It, completely it was already changed. changed. It's completely changed. Right, OK. And... People whose kids want to go into sport, but the parents are saying, right, actually this is dangerous, we don't want to do it. What, sort, well, how would, what would you say to them? To support your child, um, even if they don't take it up as a career, it's a very good discipline um, to go to the, to, or into any sport, not just boxing, into any kind of sport. And you don't have the normal worries, I suppose, about worrying about indie drinking or going out or clubbing or he doesn't do coming home like late. He doesn't do nothing like that. So in a way, it sort of made your life a little bit and easier. And even if he did go out and clubbing or somewhere, I know he wouldn't be drinking. I know he's a sensible. So it's, quite, it's brought quite a big change back into him, hasn't it? Very, very big change, yeah. yeah. And your, I suppose your most concerns are that he doesn't lose because that would probably upset him. But as opposed to, right, you're not worried about him every night where he is, or and I suppose there's no pressures on, right, that he's got to pass exams. So I suppose every single fight of his is an exam. Yes, it is, yeah. Right. Okay, so now, like you said, your friends support him and stuff like that. There must be people who come up to you and say, actually, I don't think what you're doing is right, or this is not good, I wouldn't let my kid do that. Yeah, a lot of people, one or two people have come up to me and they said, um, you know, like one it's auntie, right? like one auntie in the street, then I'm going to university, and I'm going to you know, I'm a boxer. Hmm. And they're like, boxer, I'm going to Yeah. And like, they don't realise it's a professional sport and like, it's a full-time job. Yeah. They don't realise how much tough work he puts in, not just like with sparring or, you know, like being in the gym, it's the, the diet as well. Okay. You know. So when you see him eating healthy and working out, don't you think, right, 
Korea it makes you sort of active in the, in the family. Like, I've got friends who go to the gym and stuff like that, and I've been looking at them, and I thought, you know, if I never, you know it's kicked in, I need to start looking. Every time I watch him, like, spa... Yeah, you feel like getting in a ring and... <laughs> no, 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 he just, like, two minutes, I'm thinking, Jesus, I can't even get up the stairs. <laughs> you know, but he's doing well. Now, he's turned professional, and the professional from amateur is a different thing. Like you said, you have to wear head cards when you... But now it's a different ball game, and you've seen that the professional boxers how tough they are. So, I mean, do you think that obviously, you know, you've got confidence? But do you think Indy can go out there and match what the top fighters are? Or do you think Asian kids, as a general, can go out? I think and do any that? child doesn't have to be Asian, or you know, as long as they do the training, and as long as they don't cheat on the training, why not? I mean, Indy's only 19 at the moment, but in two, three years' time, you never know. Right. The way he's carrying on at the moment, and I've got no doubt in my mind that he won't reach the top because he will reach the top. Do you have any regrets at all? Like, oh, you spent a lot of money on him, and yet you, we haven't seen a return on that, or any, or do you think you know what? I could have spent it on the education and just spent it on this. No, I don't. No, uh, the money I've spent on Indy is well spent. Right. At the end, I'm not going to put my son through education when I know his heart's not in it. Right. And when he said he didn't want to go, go for the education, I mean, how did that feel? I mean, did you think you know what? It's not the be-all and end-all. Or did you think... Because, you know, for us in our days, education was everything. Yeah. So, like, you had to do this and you had to do that, you know. But I suppose nowadays, the game's all changed, right? Yeah. And so, what, did, did it upset you when he said he didn't want to go to school? No, not anymore? at all. Not at all. Right. And w what about your parents? Did it upset them? He upset my baby. <laughs> yeah. And what did your baby say? Well, she tried to, like, obviously encourage him to go back to college and stuff yeah. like that, but what's the point in encouraging your child when he's just going to be so unhappy? Does Bibi understand now or not really? <laughs> I think she does now. Bibi has something, do you? Yeah, she doesn't get that. Yeah, so, oh, but I can look at it, and I don't know how. And, you know, it's, um, it keeps him active and it keeps him fit. Yeah. And keeps everyone out of trouble, I suppose. Yes, that's right, yeah. Right. And to see horror mummy and we will there a lot of boxers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Indies, um, other boxers. Fred, like Myron, and, you know, I've got good contact with his mom. Um, with all the with all the um, boxers, to me, whoever gets into the ring, to the ring, it's not about winning. It's about well, yeah, in a way, it is about um, winning. But for t it takes two boxers to get into the ring. So Jere on my pe kar bethe ya, and ona the bache kani ke nee si boxing karniya, and yaar si karate se kniya, yaar si kickboxing karniya. What would you say to him? Ona nu kiy tu si kongi ki message thoda ta. Um, my message is like, um, you know, let them do it and like you find out in time how um, dedicated they are in the sport mm. and if they are that dedicated, let them follow the dream. So, if you like that but a child and if everyone's telling you, yeah, he can do it, then you say yes. What would have happened if some people come up to you and said, actually, he's not good, he's not going to make it? Would you have then said, right, sat down with him and said, you know, honey, nee, honey, yeah. yeah, I would have done that. Definitely. Would you stop that? I would, and I think within the G, he would have knew by himself as well. Do you think that kids nowadays are old enough, mature enough to realise that, even at a young age? You no, not really. They still need the parents' um, support, but yeah. like within the G, it's, it's not just having my support, he's having like a lot of his sponsors' support, his manager's support, um, you know, his family support, so, you know... So he, a lot of people believe in him? A lot of people believe in him, yeah. Right. And okay. he's not just like the Indian community, like his yeah. family, it's the English community as well. And that's, I suppose, when the English community and say come and say to you, you know, he's quite good and he can do this, and. That, that changes the picture, I suppose, right? Yeah, it does change a lot. Right. And how confident is his trainer? I mean, you said he's like a, a father figure to him. He's very confident with Indy. I mean, he'll take Indy um, to, like, all these big fights at Wembley. Um, they'll stay out the night together in hotels, to, you know, like setting up other fights, um, you know, big, big title fights. So I know um, with Indy, like, he does listen to his manager. His manager can be a bit harsh with Indy, but he does it for a reason. Right, OK. And is there times when... Um, and he's in a bad mood and he takes it out on you or, you know, or you're in a bad mood and you take it out on him. I mean, how, how do you interact with each other? Well, I know when he's in a bad mood, um, I'll just keep out of his way. Right, OK. And when, um, but like, he's not really in a bad mood. He's always happy. Yeah. You know, he's, he's always doing things for Is the he people. happier now than what he was when he was studying? Oh, definitely, 100%. Yeah? 100%, yeah. And you can see that in him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, so, definitely. I suppose the message is, Jai Thoda Bacha, Go there or something, and Jaruri Nigo Parna Chonda. So, or sports such a child, then you should encourage him, and then perhaps kids can go a long way. Do you think there should be more Asians in sport? Definitely. Because Asian people have got talent, but I don't think the parents 
are pushing their kids or not letting them do what they want to do in do you, sports. Do you think that will change in, say, 20 years' time or 10 years' time? Or is it changing now? It's definitely changing now. Right. It's definitely changing now. Right. It's like we, since Imlajit had his first professional fight, there's been other Asian children that's gone into the gym. Um, maybe not to be professional. You, you never know. Yeah. And is there a lot of Asian parents that come up to you and say, actually, our kids want to start boxing? And yeah, we, yeah, there is, yeah, right. definitely. Yeah. And what do you say to them? Get, get yourself down to the gym. Go yeah. with them. Right. And is there any sort of stage when you thought, you know what, enough's enough, I don't, I don't want to have this, or do you think that time will come in the future? That time is not, well, it's, it's gone too far at the moment, because no. like Indigit's making a good name for himself, he's a professional boxer, and the way he's carrying on, he's going to make a career himself. And when you saw him fight, I mean, live for the first time in front of a crowd, how did that make you feel? His very first um, fight, it was an amateur fight, right. I hated it. Really? I absolutely hated it. Why did you hate it? <laughs> Well, it's, you know, like, it, it's, it's your child in the ring and you're thinking, oh my God, what's happening? Is it like someone's hitting your baby? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I felt like getting in the ring myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad you didn't. <laughs> um, we're going to go to a break and then afterwards we're going to talk to Indy again. But thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you for giving much. us a mum's perspective. I've never had a mum and son on the show before. Thank so you very much. So much. <laughs> Welcome to the show. 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 Welcome to I just your program how that key or key and a lot of kids out there that do want to go out into sports, but they don't know how to tell their parents, and they don't know how their parents are going to react. On a bisal pelna je esi apne can they bami dad know that we want to go into sports, and uh, you know they look at us and say that men bad don't know sports for us, and they all let you know what sports all about, and you get a clip round here or and you end up becoming a doctor, and that's I think the life story for many of us that happened, but. Um, now, I suppose, when we're parents and our kids say that, it's taken a different thing and we think, well, hold on. I mean, I remember I, I used to play a lot of cricket. And so I played cricket and one day I broke my wrist, a ball hit my wrist. That's it. And I never played cricket again. And, you know, I feel like playing it today, but um, just don't get the chance, I suppose. But... Now we'll come back to India again. Indy, after hearing your mum say all of that, now how do you feel now? Do you feel you're quite lucky, I mean, to get your parents' support? Us? Yeah, I do feel lucky, to be fair, yeah. But we've got my mum's support, so that's what, mean, that's what matters most. Yeah, I suppose because in a lot of communities, it doesn't matter, but in our community, we, like, if, you know, when we were your age, we would never got that support. No. And as, at that time, you could tell, because now at least there are a few Asian boxers now. At that time, there's very few. I mean, um, there's very few people who were uh, doing that. So do you think that there's a bit of responsibility now? Your mum's like, because she's put so much into you financially and your sponsors have put a lot into you financially. Do you think that sort of weighs in hard and that motivates you to do better? Or do you think there's a bit of responsibility? Sometimes are you afraid that, hold on, I've got to do well, otherwise they're going to think, you know, I didn't try hard enough or I'll let them down. It doesn't make, scare me or nothing because I know it motivates me even more right. that I'm getting this support and, and I can't stop. No, I can't stop now. I'm, I'm getting this far, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm going to keep on training hard. I'm going to keep on getting better and better every fight. So uh, this motivates me, really. Is it a lot of pressure? Do you think there's a lot of pressure? Is it, it's, when, I come, when it comes to my fights, and you watch all my people watching me, um, I do get pressure, but I just put it in the back of my head. Right. I just put that in the back of my head and just get along, just get on with it. When you're in front of a crowd, and some people are supporting you and some people are against you, yeah. Right. Or say if you get hit and the crowd cheers because you got hit, yeah. I mean, does that sort of discourage you? Or, do, or at that time, it's all that that is blocked out? Nah, all is blocked out. I said, all right, you hit me. All right, uncle, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to tell you about that. I'll get you back. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, you don't really pay attention once you're in the ring to what the crowd No, is I just pay attention to him. All I can hear is my manager, my right. trainer. Um, what All I can hear is what he's saying with my corner. You know what I mean? That's um, guiding me what to do. So, yeah. How many rounds do you box in a fight? Uh, at the moment, I box fours, four right. threes. Right. Three minute, four three-minute rounds. So when we look at it on the TV, or like recently I was watching the Floyd Mayweather fight against Manny Pacquiao, and I just thought, he's not really doing much. He's just walking around the ring and just keeping him at length, yeah? And, but, I mean, how hard is that to do? Someone like me might look at it and think, that's not really hard. It's, it's, you have to be skilled. To, you have to be, you know what I mean? You have to be born to do that, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> kind of stuff. But um, you have to have a good, 
conditioning uh, in training. It all matters in training. It all matters what it's in your head. You know what I mean. You're not gonna lose. But um, yeah, just to be honest, I enjoyed watching for him. That's what I. That's my idol. So I watched. I, I was um, proud of what he. That he won. So you, you weren't criticising. No, I never asked you. This is a masterclass. This is yeah. That's mm. great. All right. So because a lot of box people just think that boxing is just about throwing punches. But it's not. I mean, a lot no. of it is about dodging punches, of about and using your movement, your and using your. It's about being clever. Right. I mean, it's about hitting your opponent and then not getting hit. Right. You know I mean, you can throw shots and then at the end of it, but if you don't land, it, and, and, and say if they throw a shot back at you and you get hit, I mean, right. it's just. You know what I mean, you need to you need to think of your head. But that's what matters in training. I mean, that's what you just practice on. Have you ever had a fight? And where you thought, you know what, I'm going to walk this, but then someone's come out actually is quite tough, and this was a bit. Um, yeah, 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 that's when you do. In, in one, of, one of my amateur fights, I thought, yeah, this guy looks like, yeah, he's yeah. smaller than me. Yeah. And he actually came out to fight, and you know, he didn't win, but obviously you have to step your game up. Right. But um, yeah, he'd so be switched that, on. So then, how quickly do you have to change your plan? Switch on straight away, straight away. Change, you change your plan straight. Yeah. And do you prepare for each opponent differently, or is it the same sort of training for each one? Um, do you have the same style for each one, or do you think, right? This one boxes differently, I've got to change my style. Of yeah, it depends, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, because at this level, you don't need to know who you're fighting at yet. Right. You know what I mean? I just fight on the, on the, the first week, you know, the last week, who I'm fighting. But um, when it comes to title fights, that's when I know. That's when I know. But um, um, in, my, in my last fight, in the first round, um, I knew how he fought, and I changed my style, like, you know what I mean? I just changed my shots, and just kept on hitting him, but, yeah. When was your first professional fight? Um, it was March. Right. This and, year, March. And how long did it last? Um, it went all the rounds. Okay. Four, four minute freeze. I won every round. Right. So, um, yeah, this just gave me a taste of... And how much was the crowd, was it? Yeah, a great crowd, about 140 people. Right. My fans, yeah. Okay. So, um, when's your next fight now? My next fight's in next week, Saturday, 25th of July. Right. So what sort of training are you doing for that now? How many hours are you training? Are you um, training hard or are you relaxed a little bit now? I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm, I'm just how the same I was in my first fight. Right. I'm training hard. The, the, the training hasn't changed. And do you know who you're going to fight yet or not? No, no, not yet. So at this stage, even though you're professional, you don't really know who no, you're going to fight? No, not yet. So I'll find out this tell week. You, they tell you a couple of days before? Yeah, or? no, no, no the same week. This week, either this week or next week. Right. Start of next week. So then you start preparing for that opponent specifically next week? Of you? course, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. But I don't, I don't normally study my opponents at this level. Right. And no. are your opponents, are they new as well? Are they going to be like people who no, have only had one or two fights? Or are they last, going to be people that have fought quite a lot? My last opponent, he had um, two fights. Okay. Won one, lost one. Okay. He was there to win. He's from Croatia. Okay. He had like 200 amateur fights. Right. I mean, he boxed for the Croatian boxer team. We weren't no, you know what I mean? Right. He, he, weren't, he weren't there to lose. He weren't no typical journeyman. Okay. But um, yeah, he just, yeah, he was comfortable. My star, styles make fights and that's what happened. Have you won any competitions or championships? Yeah, I won uh, the Midlands Championship in... Um, Last October when I was amateur. Is that like knockout fights? Do you have knockout rounds and you go through to the next round? Like yeah, a, yeah. Final semi-final, yeah. like an FA Cup sort of thing. Of course, yeah. I won the I won the quarterfinals against the Midlands and I became Midlands champion. Do you have to fight them all on one day, or do you have to fight them no, all, no. all um, over a weekend? No, one, one week. I mean, next week. Right. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. And uh, who did you fight in the final of that? Semi-finals. Right. I fought some guy from Sheffield. He wasn't. He wasn't all that, but um, I know. I, know, I knew I should have won that. Right. I knew I should have won that fight. But it's just one of them. ones, you just get over it. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, so, how many fights do you have to fight before you think you could take them seriously? Like, it's about to, after ten fights, people begin to give you a bit more coverage. And when do you get onto the Sky Sports and stuff like this? I mean, when are we going to see you on the so Sky Sports this, or ITV or my something? My next fight's on Channel Five. All oh, right. Really. So um, this is going to be. Massive opportunity. This one coming up or not? This one, yeah. Oh, so this one Massive. on the 25th, this will be on Channel 5? Yeah, it's on um, Channel 5. Um, if you want to get at me, just um, follow me on Inst um, Facebook and Instagram. Right. And um, Facebook, Indie Sangha Facebook page, so you can just know when the channel, the fight's going to be on. And my Instagram, um, Boxer Inns, Boxer INDZ. Yeah. And um, yeah, the next fight's going to be showing hi highlights on Channel 5, so right. yeah. It's so be right. if you catch, I mean, if you... Putting a good performance and you catch it's, the eye. Uh, the big TV promoter is going to, that's the one. Yeah, and, and who's sitting at ringside at the boxing fights? Because you always see celebrities. Yeah, of and course, yeah, you do. So 
I mean, are the promoters sitting there? I mean, have you had any contact from any who said, right, you know, we're going to sign you up? Or have you had any influential people come to you? I've had influential people coming to me, big promoters to my manager and that. Right. Um, but this fight, it's just, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big step up for me. Right. Because after this fight, I knew that everything was going to blow up after this. So right. it's going to be, it's going to be good. And I'm going to put in a good performance as well next week. Usually on a night of boxing, how many fights are there? Uh, there's about 10. Right, and it's called a card, right? Yeah, 10. I'm on the undercard of um, Nick Blackwell versus Jones. Right, okay. So, yeah. And do you think after how many fights will you really know that, yeah, I'm serious, or will the world know that you're serious? I mean, after about 10 fights, do you really hope to be in some sort of rankings? Or yeah, something? I'll sort of be, I'll hopefully be in the top 10 ranking in Britain, of course, in the my first ten, my after 10 fights. Right, okay. Yeah. So first you have to get into the Britain rankings, then you get into the world rankings, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And whereabouts are, would you say you are now in the rankings? In the are rank, you ranked now? I'm you? ranked now about um, rank 27. Right. And out of 33. Oh, really? And I've only had one fight, and um, I've beat... People that have that have lower rank than me, they've had like five fights, five wins. Okay. And, um, and I've already had one fight, one win, and it just it matters about the quality of who you bo- who you um, beat. So um, then, yeah. So, right. If it doesn't go well for you, if it doesn't, have you got a backup plan or not? Um, or that's just what you want to do. That's what I want to do. I never I never think about that. Never think about it. And have you thought about other forms of boxing, like kickboxing or Muay Thai no, or anything? Or is this just, just boxing. Just boxing, really. Right. And are other forms of boxing harder or easier than this? Sorry? Are other forms of boxing harder or easier? Is kickboxing harder than normal boxing? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know, but I would think boxing is the hardest. Right. Because it's just, it's just the quality of a sport small, but it's just using your fists. Right. I mean, but um, other, other sports are very good as well. So kickboxing, you have to have the same discipline in boxing as, go- of course, in, bo- in any sport, really. Yeah. Why didn't you go into other sports like football, cricket? I did play football for a bit. Yeah. I didn't play football, I was pretty good, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I was just fast, I just was run everywhere. Yeah. But um, nah, as soon as I, fe- I fell in love with boxing since I did it, since I went to act- since I f- did my first training session, that's it. I knew that's it, I want to keep on doing this. And you mentioned earlier, you just mentioned it, look, that a lot of people come up to you, say, in the street, and say, right, I, you know, I, I want to, you mm. know, you think you're a boxer, I want to fight, I yeah. want to fight this. Do you get that a lot? I get that quite a lot, quite frequently, yeah. 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 And I was watching an interview with Amir Khan and he said the same thing he yeah. goes you know what when people do that at clubs or something like that like, you just have to walk away yeah I try to see it makes it, might, it just makes me laugh to be honest it just, it just makes me more better it, whatever they say about me whatever they say you know what I mean? I'll just just go this is like a job out. for you right? of course it's my job so this yeah. is your full time job full time so you work seven days Eight, six nine days, hours, six yeah. days. I have, a day, I have a Sunday off you have a Sunday off you know, a nice cheat day on Sunday right okay on <laughs> no. Sunday what do you do on a Sunday to chill oh, out Chill out and just eat food. <laughs> eat food. Eat, eat what I can't eat. What I like I'm not supposed to eat when I'm on a diet. What aren't you supposed to eat? So now you're praying for a fight. What can you eat and what can't you? Eat? Um, I eat mainly salads when it comes. To, when it comes on Monday to Saturday, yeah. I eat like salads. Is that porridge, just eating salads? Porridge. Porridge. Before training. Okay. Porridge after training. Um, carbs before training. Right. That's main. That's mainly pasta. Right. Um, salads after training, or some grilled chicken, which is, which is not that bad, grilled chicken. Right. It's just not that bad. So I look forward to eating that. So what about stuff like normal teenagers eat? Like milkshakes, sweets, and yeah, burgers, I, yeah, and all that? And, and I just love... Fries. I would love to eat a burger right now. <laughs> really? but, uh, the, but that's what the... Yeah, you just have to... That's what I mean, discipline. Just matters of the discipline. You know, I'm disciplined enough to the thing. You know what, if I have this chocolate now, I'm going to I'm going to lose the fight. I'm not going to, I can't do it, I can't do it. Are all your mates now sort of in the same field or have you got mates who are just like... Um, yeah, I've got my best mate, he's in boxing, he's a professional boxer, right. boxing the same show as me, so um, my mates, they're all done boxing, you know what I mean? They're all, so they all understand? Yeah, they all understand, yeah. They all, to my mates, they're not like, I've kept, I've kept it like so they're good, they can encourage me. Okay. So it's a good background for me, like, so... so I mean, have you ever had any sort of negative people or negative feedback? I say, actually, you, you know, you know, this is wrong. What you're doing, or you're not that good, or yeah, blah, blah, I've, blah. I've had that. And, and what does that sort of? Make I've you? had pe- a lot of people message me on anonymous. Like, oh, really? I mean, of course, on anonymous, stuff like that, yeah. anonymous prank calls and that. Really? And so, uh, and how, do you, how does that make you feel? Right? I just, I just laugh at it. I just laugh. I just laugh because I know I'm that good enough to like just to keep just just to laugh. Why it do you off. think people do that? I don't know. Because well, you, you don't know these people, right? Of course, yeah. right? 
Yeah. They probably don't even know you. They probably had a drink or something. They just want to go, oh, come on, let's just ring Indy. <laughs> yeah. Let's message Indy. Right. But we'll just have a go at life. But, but you have to be disciplined to deal with that, right? Yeah. So you don't sort of retaliate? Yeah, I don't retaliate. I don't message back. I just, I just put the phone down. That's right. And is that sort of way sort of pushes you on? It pushes me on. To be honest, it pushes me on. It motivates me even more. Right. All right, see, if, um, is your, you've got a younger brother? Yeah. Right, so say if he said he wanted to be bo boxing, how would you, what would you say? Would you say? Yeah, he, I wouldn't mind. Would you encourage him? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I would encourage him to do boxing. Right, but your mum said he has no interest in it, he's a brain box. And uh, <laughs> you have to have your heart into it. Yeah. I mean, if he, if he actually wants to do boxing, I would push him. So what sort of tips could you give for kids out there who want to start boxing? If you want to start boxing, um, if you really want to do it, just go to a boxing class, see if you like it. If you like it, of course you'll like it. But um, just see what you want to do and just keep training hard. I mean, the outcome will come. How did you know your trainer was the right one for you? How did you pick a good trainer? Uh, you had that bond. Right. Had that bond. Since soon, like, soon as the first week, I got better. And he was telling me as well, that, you know what I mean, you need to stick, stick at this. Right. I mean, not many trainers just say that you need to stick at this. Right. And I thought, you know what, yeah, it motivates me even more just saying that. Right. And... How do you know which gym is the right one for you? Because I assume there's a lot of gyms about that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a lucky, lucky pick that I picked. Right. <laughs> yeah. So the first one that you picked was. One nation, yeah. Was good for you. Yeah, yeah, good. Do you get a lot of people now saying, you know what, you need to sign up with us if you want to yeah, go places? Yeah, of course. Oh, they're trying to poach you, so they take you away from Cliff. They're like, yeah, come, let's. Um, obviously, I know a good gym in London. You can train there, professional. I'm like, no, oh, man, that, the loyalty, man, that's to stay in the gym. But doesn't that sort of make you think, you know, maybe I should move to, to, to different? Doesn't make, me, doesn't make me. Doesn't make me. Are you going to stick with? I'll stick with what, why, what I know best. Right. And say mm -hmm. if you tomorrow you do have to go change up and get, get you know, world class say, trainers. I mean, would you do that? Would you ask a trainer first or, you know, uh, would you do that or would you just trust him to take you to I, the top? I trust him to take me to the top, you know. It's, just, it's all about the motivation and as soon as you put it in, it's going to come out. So. Are there any other Asian lads in Derby? I mean, that box with you and you think, you know, that they're going to do well or maybe yeah. so watch out for? Uh, what, one of my mates, Myron, yeah. knows he's one looking up to... Um, we train together. We train together, so... Um, there's a lot of in, there's a lot of Asia boxers in Derby, you know. So um, yeah. You think you, you think it's a good future for Asia? It's a good future for Derby. For Derby, yeah, for yeah, Derby, yeah. Derby definitely. Yeah. But what about your sponsors? I mean, how have they supported you? They support me like financially, um, pay for my tick. Um, my kit, my shorts, yeah. boots. Do you have special shorts? Yeah. Like yeah, flag of Punjab and all Yeah, I've got it. What colour are your shorts? My colour are white and gold. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, white and gold. I like, because my favourite colour, obviously, I had to put white and gold. Yeah. And then uh, my boots are white. It has to all be nice and colour coordinated. <laughs> so, yeah, to look nice. So. You have to be act a bit flash. Yeah. You, are you quite flash? In your fights, I'm a, a, bit of a I like to, I'm a bit. I'm a lot of a showman, yeah. Right. I like to be like Prince Nassim and Floyd. Right. Like you do to, an entry like Prince Nassim. And nah, nah, I don't think Prince Nassim. That's what old. Stuff. Obviously, old, 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 people would be like, oh, you've copied him. I don't want that. I don't, I just, I just step into the ring. Yeah, you want to make your own style. Yeah, but I'll come into the tall. Oh, you you bring a tall player? Yeah, next fight, four tall players. So it's gonna mass massively make the ring, uh, make the arena go loud. And what sort of crowds are you expecting? Um, mixed. I mean, expecting yeah. quite a big crowd. A big crowd, yeah. Okay. And I mean, quite good following. Okay, and uh, you get a lot of people coming up to support you at the fights. Yeah, yeah, I get about at least hundred, at least hundred. At least hundred from our community. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and afterwards, do they actually say, you know what, Indy, well done, we'll be with you for the next one? Yeah. Right. Well, Indy, thanks for coming down. Yes. And uh, we look forward to your fight and watching it on Channel Five. And good luck. And good luck for the future. Hope right. you become a big name. That's the one. And welcome uh, you on in the future. Thank but you. Thanks for coming on, and thanks to your mum as well for coming on and bringing you down. Actually, and they say that the message is that they call. Zuruli ni hunda ke thoda hai. Bache nu esi ekrasti tak na. Je saare vakil hai, to saare nu vakil banao. Je saare doctor hai, onu doctor banao, accountant hai, accountant banao. Jo thoda bache di jere vich kabile thea, ode chiz vich support karna chahiye. Da chiz jere mokke thano apni mile, o sano apne bache na dene chahiye. क्योंकि ये जरूरी नहीं कि एक लाइन में ही पैसा बना सकता करियर बना सकता सारे चीज़ें बन सकते हैं फिलहाल मैं थोड़ा मिलूंगा फ्राइडे तो उत्तेजित इमिग्रेशन ये गलना करेंगे कल मैं बर्मिंगम बच्चा आज ली मेरे वालों एनआईसी का थोड़ा सारे